until just a few days ago. This was one of the newest apartment buildings in Duras. Now it's uninhabitable. Firemen tried to help this woman reach her apartment so she could take her valuables left behind. But the risks were too high. This man carries what he can to a pickup truck after he was forced to abandon his home. Please don't. I'm not feeling well. My apartment was on the 8th floor. What can I say? Many are leaving their damaged homes in search of some safe place. Others, like street vendor Zelie, have to stay. She has to provide for her daughter and husband, who both are ill, but there is no business. Most of the people left. The buildings are empty and people are gone. They are going to Tirana because the buildings are destroyed. And seven buses went to Kosovo yesterday. I'm feeding my family by selling fruits and vegetables that I grow. My home is destroyed. All the water comes inside and I don't receive any aid. The quake did not damage this five-star hotel, but its manager is afraid about what it means for the next tourist season and his 63 employees. I think in the future it will be uh, a very a very bad situation because the name of the Duras, the name of the of the place of the country, if they Google the name of Duras, of course uh, the, the first thing in all the pages right now is the earthquake. So uh, they will be afraid to to come and visit us. Patos himself is preparing free coffee for anyone who enters the doors, but the hotel is not yet accepting guests. Survivors have to pick up their lives from where they were interrupted on Tuesday early morning. Shops are working again. Street vendors returned to the streets, all hoping that soon this will become a distant nightmare. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Duress.